Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're gonna take a look at Azure Container Instances. So here it is. So all we gotta do is go to Container Instances, we'll hit Add. And the nice thing is that Azure provides us with a Hello World one, so it's very easy for us to get started. Um, it's a Linux machine, and it looks like it's pretty inexpensive there, so we'll stick with that. I'm gonna create a new group here. We're gonna call it Banana, um, and we'll name the Container Instance Banana. And East US 2 seems fine to me. You'll notice we're on a quick start image. If we wanted, we could use something from the Docker Hub and provide our own link, but we'll just stick with the quick uh, start image for today. We're gonna go ahead and hit next to networking just to see what we have as options. You can make it public or private. We'll go to advanced, hold on here. Yep, those are just the ports you can expose. We'll go to advance and for the restart policy, we can set on failure always or never. We can pass in environment variables and I've covered this a lot more in detail in the lecture content, so we don't need to really dive deep into this. Um, and we'll go ahead and create this instance. And so we'll have to wait a little while here and I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, and so after a short wait, our uh, container instance is ready. We'll go to that resource there and take a look around. So on the left-hand side, we can go to our containers and there we can see it running. We can see the events down below of what's going on. So you can see that it's pulled the image. It successfully pulled it and then it started the container. Some properties, nothing interesting there. The logs, if we wanted to see stuff. And if we wanted to connect to the instance, we could also go here and hit connect, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't have any purpose to do that right now. So, and it's also not gonna work the way we're doing it, but I just wanted to show you, you had those opportunities. Uh, you can do identity, so that, that means manage it with role-based access controls. But what I wanna see is actually this uh, Hello World working. I'm assuming that must be a, a Hello page. I've never looked at it before. So we're gonna go here, grab the public IP address and paste it on in the top. And there we go. So we have deployed a instance onto Azure Container Instances, or a container, I should say. So nothing super exciting to talk about here, um, but we do need to know the basics uh, there. Um, if we wanted to deploy other containers, it's just the one there, so that's all you really need to do. Um, but yeah, so yeah, hopefully that uh, gives you an idea there. I'll just go back to the list here so we can see it, and we'll go ahead and just uh, delete that. Probably do it for the for the resources on the left hand side, like I always like to do. Uh, and we will go into banana here, and we will delete banana, and there you go.